Joining us at this point is Ambassador Bhashwati Mukherjee, former diplomat. We also have Khwaja Shahid, Empower Media Panelist, joining us live. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, Empower Media Panelist, is also with us on the broadcast. Madhav Nalapa, Territorial Director of the Sunday Guardian, is also uh, joining us live. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, come in here on, uh, you know, on the, of course, this statement and what really leads to these articles being written. What is uh, behind these headlines uh, that we often see? And do you believe it should be called out or not? Uh, firstly, with the yes, most certainly it should be called out, and I concur with uh, with Nirmala Sitaram. Firstly, you should come here and see what is happening on ground, rather than sitting far away and building perception. Secondly, I would not be accurate if I just oh, I would see we are here to solve problems. We are here to sort it out, to to resolve an issue. We are not here to we just point fingers at anyone. Now, by just saying merely it's a propaganda, does it does it help? I don't think it really helps. What we should do is change the perception. Because they will report as per their perception, and the very fact remains, there is a perception that minorities in India are having a tough time. Whenever that comes to their mind, they should always uh, to think of uh, and a former. I had joined the army with there, uh, Major Muhammad Ali Shah. I went to an IMS, so I would say the minorities should actually come up strong, so that no one can discriminate against them. Go to the IITs, go to the IMS, go to the civil services, join the defence forces, join the police. Now, my father being a Muslim, he rose to, he rose to the second highest ranking officer of the country's Indian Army. My uncle was a Padma Shri Padma Bhushan. So I will say, no, I have never experienced any kind of discrimination in the uh, being a minority in, in the country. I would go by what I have personally experienced. Yes, the very fact is that to pin somebody down, someone did mention a religious slur. This, and it happened with me personally, much before 2014 in fact for that matter. That did happen. So it will be wrong to say that minorities are really having a tough time. I mean, look at minorities in Pakistan, look at minorities in Iran, look at minorities in Afghanistan, look at minorities in China, look at minorities anywhere. In fact, I think the best country for minorities is India. And by merely saying, oh, there's a propaganda against us, I'm a, I'm a very proud Indian. I love my country, you know, and I'm very proud to be a Muslim at the same time. Now, if I just say that there's a propaganda against us, does it help? I don't think it will really solve much of the issue, I'll be very, very honest. Even though they might be or they may not be, that's a different story. The perception in people's minds that what minorities are going through in India, that has to be changed. And when the, the that's a grassroots level, the bottom level. And when that perception is changed, automatically the reporting also, even if you want to do a propaganda, you cannot do a propaganda. Why? I'll give you a small example. Supposing I am doing a race where I have to run 5 kilometers in 20 minutes, for example. And if you don't like my face, you don't know you want to fail me. You cannot fail me. You just cannot. Because I have done those 5 kilometers, I have proved it on ground and I have done it. As Alama Iqbal who once said, who wrote Sare Jaha Se Acha, he said, Khudi ko kar buland itna ke har takdeer se pehle khuda bande se khud puche bata te raza kya hai. So I would urge all the, in fact, minorities everywhere, not just minority, everyone, be that strong, stand tall, that even if, even if someone wants to discriminate against you, you become unstoppable. No one can discriminate against you. I have my best friends are all uh, from the non, from the non-minority community. In fact, when I was in the army, my uh, my jawan would greet me, Ram Ram Saab, Eid Mubarak. You know, that, and right now the Ramzans are going on. My jawan in the army, I remember very very clearly, Gulab Singh asking me. Sab, subeko, sehri, kitne, uh, kitne mujhe leke sehri is a meal, the first meal. And I wasn't fasting that time. So I was terribly embarrassed. I was like, Gulab Singh is asking me, what time shall I get your meal early morning at 4 a.m.? So it was really, really, so rather I have not faced discrimination, rather I have, I have faced affirmative action. If I have gone to a friend's house who's not from the Muslim community, he says, oh, it's your prayer time. Why don't you go and pray in the corner? Whereas I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So it is all a perception and I think the people from uh, both the communities have to respect each other. And when that perception is built up over there, it will really help a long way in the international media 